Hey everybody, I want to take a minute and talk with you about something. Chronic pain. I've known people who've dealt with chronic pain for years. Vanessa had bad chronic pain. I've got chronic pain. I can't remember the last time I didn't hurt. Those of us who deal with chronic pain and I'm not going to say I've got it bad. There are people who have it a whole lot worse. We get used to dealing with life every day, operating at a pain level of about four, maybe a five. And those of you who are healthy and have no chronic pain, if you had that, if you felt that pain, you would be seeking help from a doctor. Now, it's not that we can't go to a doctor, although that does happen. It's that there are many times where a doctor can't help. When Vanessa broke her neck, it was in the middle of the opioid epidemic. And doctors are handcuffed, and they weren't allowed to prescribe very much in the way of pain medication. And what they did prescribe, they kept reducing and reducing and reducing. <sighs> Those of us who have arthritis, degenerative diseases, uh, and things like this, there's not much hope, honestly. Unless you're wealthy and you can afford the best of care from the best specialists and expensive medications, we're out of luck. And we have to just deal with it. And so, over time, we get used to it. <sighs> because we're used to dealing with chronic pain, And we feel it every day. It affects us mentally, not just physically. And in many cases, it can affect your personality and make you bitter and make you sour and make you easy to anger. I have a friend, great friend, deals with chronic pain. And his temper is short. And he gets angry. And I would not want to be his target. But it's not his fault. Chronic pain affects us deeply. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, count yourself lucky. There will come a day when you'll start to degenerate. Things will start to hurt. And it doesn't matter what over-the-counter medications I take, I still hurt. And yet, there's something you can do. It won't take away the pain necessarily, but that's to learn to focus on the good. When I focus on the things that are right, things that are making me happy, the things that are going good in my life. If I grab a hold of those good feelings and grip them tightly, it helps. When I look at Valerie and I say, I hurt, she does what she can. Sometimes it's just a touch, but it helps. What I'm asking you to do if you have chronic pain, is try to find things that make you happy and dwell on those. Do those things. If you don't have chronic pain, remember that people are fighting battles you know nothing about. It doesn't show up on the outside necessarily. It can be completely invisible. So if somebody is short with you, if somebody looks sad or hurting, understand there is far more going on than you can realize from your perspective. I'm asking you to be kind, be considerate, 
If it's something as simple as saying, hey, are you okay? Is there anything I can do? I mean, sometimes it's, yeah, man, I don't want to get up. Could you fetch me a drink from the fridge? That means a lot. Just please, there's enough pain in this world. Don't add to it. Be kind. Be considerate. And if you've got chronic pain, I understand. I can't fix it. But I understand. And I love you.